non raggiungeva il più possibile. No, 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 normale, non... Eh, eh, no, corridi così. Ridi, 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 ridi. Ridi, ridi. È a fuoco, vero? Sì. Sì, sì, ridi. So, this is the patient. She's a lady, as you can see. And there is a missing tooth at the level of the lateral incisor. Now we can show you the intraoral situation. So you see that the big problem is uh, trying to restore the lateral incisors by increasing the height of the papilla distal to the lateral incisor, distal to the central incisor, and a bit less also mesial to the canine. So we are in a situation of papilla loss, and that's why we have to make a soft tissue augmentation of the dental site, like it is when we have a tooth to be extracted for a periodontal reason. Theoretically, the healing cap could keep the graft even more coronal and this could increase even more the papilla height. Now I have to try to stretch this graft by connecting it at the buccal aspect because it's very important that this graft is mainly positioned. So the palatal anchor is only to have now a, a, the possibility to stretch the graft buccally.